Well, hello from Luang Prabang train station, guys. I was very happy to learn that there is a train that goes from all the major centers in Laos. Because if there wasn't, it would be a five to six hour, very bumpy uh, bus ride to get there. So today we are traveling first class from Luang Prabang to Van Vien. Our tickets cost about 250,000 kip. We got our tickets directly at the Luang Prabang uh, train station. We had to queue about two days in advance. They have this strange system where you can reserve a ticket ahead of time, but then you can only pick it up about two days beforehand. And now we are at the actual station just waiting for the train. But one important thing that I kind of wanted to mention is that they are a bit difficult in their security department for some reason. Like right when we were lined up, they had pulled two people to the side and were giving them some weird issues, you know, ab about things that they had in their luggage. And then we also got stopped and uh, all of our aerosols, like uh, my sunscreen, bug spray, my hairspray, they said they couldn't uh, allow us to take any of them on the train. So, you know, I just had to leave basically $15 worth of stuff. Like, you don't even have to do that when you are, you know, checking your bags on a plane. I've never had to do that with a train, so just wanted to let you guys know that, yeah, if you are bringing any aerosols over, I guess, 100 milliliters, they will confiscate them. As I was editing this video, I actually came across another couple of YouTubers, Kyle and Jess. I'll link their channel and this video in the description uh, that also had an unfortunate far worse incident uh, than we did as far as having something that they didn't know was illegal in their luggage, which ended up being a vape. And vaping is illegal, I guess, in Laos as it is in Singapore. So you could not bring that on the train. They confiscated it and also said that they were supposed to go to jail or pay a fine, which, you know, you can argue is a uh, corruption. So if you want to learn more about their whole situation, I'll have their video in the description, but just wanted to point that out that do not bring a vape in your luggage when you are traveling on this train. Obviously, I guess they got it through the airport somehow, but on this train, they are super particular. Pretty good amount of space, I would say, right? Not bad. Not bad. Pretty wide seats with quite a bit of leg room and a leg rest. So this is what you get for first class, guys. To voice over how the journey itself actually went, it was honestly quite impressive. This train is able to travel to Von Vien in an hour from Luang Prabang, which as I mentioned before, would usually take five to six hours minimum if you were riding the bus. The reason being for this is because Lao is a super mountainous, rough terrain sort of country, especially in these regions. So with the bus, you are going down winding mountain roads that aren't in the best condition and it takes a while. With this train, they went literally through the mountain, which is why we were actually in tunnels, I would say, for half the trip. There was no view, just pitch darkness, but that's fine if you can get me there in a fifth of the time. As for the actual amenities of the train, it was overall very nice. The washrooms were simple but clean. And there was also a drink and snack cart that would come by a couple of times on the train. Wasn't a whole lot of selection, but you could get some light snacks. And I ended up getting what I thought was Red Bull, but it was Red Goats. <laughs> so I had never actually tried this energy drink before, but it was all right. And yeah, the journey itself was overall uneventful. It was nice to have the view when we had it. The train travels at about 160 kilometers per hour when it's not going through any sort of towns. 
One other thing to mention is that you do store any of your larger luggage kind of just on the side of the train in between the cars, which if everybody brought a piece, I don't think there would be enough room, but most people do just bring carry-on sized luggage. Overall, a very enjoyable experience and for 12 US dollars, I don't think you could really ask for more. And here we are for round two. Yeah, round two. Where are we, Dad? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> We're in the Von Vien. Von Vien. <laughs> Von Vien I can't remember all these names. And, and today, guys, we're going to the capital, which is Vencien. Today, we are riding second class because I wanted to show you guys the comparison between the first class and the second class. To be honest, there's not a huge price difference between the two classes. The just train ticket cost was 170,000 kip, which is like eight or nine US dollars for second class. It's, you know, very inexpensive for, you know, Westerners. We did pay 250,000 because that included uh, the tuk-tuk, you know, to and from our hotel. So it was a bit of a higher fee, but still in US that's like $12 a person. But if you're comparing just ticket to ticket cost, I'd say it's about 30% more for first class, which I assume is just, you know, a bigger seat. But since we haven't tried uh, second class yet, uh, I guess we'll, we'll see in just a minute. Well, that check-in process was significantly easier than ours in Luang Prabang. Wasn't it, Dad? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. First of all, we were kind of running late that time, but uh, second of all, there was such a long line for security, and, you know, they gave us trouble with the aerosols as well as a whole bunch of other people. So since we didn't have any aerosols, I guess, this time, and there was no line, we got through so quickly. They just check your ticket, look at your passport. Yeah. No problem. Since I didn't mention it before, and for those of you who may not know, this railway does connect Lao with China. It was an extremely big transportation project for Lao to take on, being a smaller country and not so economically developed. It of course did get a very hefty loan from China to make this possible. Since its launch in December of 2021, the 1,035 kilometer rail line links the Lao capital of Vientiane with Kunming, which is the capital of the southwest Chinese province of Yunnan. Obviously, the creation of this railway has created a lot of new economic and social opportunities for both countries, so it's exciting to see what kind of ventures it'll bring in the future. Now, as far as the second class experience versus the first class on the train, to be honest, there's not that much of a difference as I thought it was primarily space. Uh, we got lucky that we were in the first row that had just two seats across so it could just be me and my dad together but if you were sitting on the other side then it is three seats across which may actually be a positive if you were traveling with three people. Now as far as differences between first and second class I wouldn't say that there's a lot the amenities such as the washrooms and the snack carts that come by are more or less the same. It really is just the seat being bigger and also more comfortable. That would be the biggest change, but once again, it's a very comfortable ride through and through, so no complaints. We are officially in the capital city, right, Dad? Right. It has been quite a journey, but certainly easier than if we would have taken the bus to get to Vientiane. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> There's really not a huge difference between the price of the two classes and personally I would travel first class because it's not that much more expensive and you do get a bit more leg room. Dad, what did you think of the train? Very good. Very modern. It's only a couple of years old, I guess. 
Yeah, exactly. It's a very new train. It goes very smooth, very fast. They did do a great job on it. So let me know in the comments if you guys have ever traveled on this train line, what was your experience? And we are now going to start exploring the capital of Vientiane, our last stop here in Laos. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. And as always, I'm sending you so much love. Keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.